This morning we are in Nebi Diocese, excited that we get to launch um, our digital messaging service with them. This uh, service allows for the enhancement of collaboration or communication uh, across the diocese. It allows for the transmission of SMSs uh, to, to large audiences. It allows for the use of IVR, which is um, rec you know, recorded voices to be transmitted. It allows for the use of email, uh, and all of this being done centrally at the diocese. It is a, a first within our ecosystem in as far as um, uh, using technology to improve how, how, how affairs are being run. Um, the fact that Nebi is the first to launch the service is exciting for us because they are the first diocese to take it on. Um, we continue to visit our dioceses to interest them and onboard them to use the service here. We know that in Uganda, there are over 36 million phones um, across the population. So if the 36 million phones versus 46 million uh, people, uh, that means maybe one in two people should have a phone. So using these phones here as a media to communicate, to uh, transmit messages of transformation, to share with them messages, positive messages that we all need as, as people is a good thing. One of the parish priests um, shared that he has a challenge of the youth in his community engaging in uh, vices such as gambling. Uh, he's excited because now he can use that same phone that they're using for gambling, that same phone that they're using for gambling, to now uh, be a, 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 a platform that these young people can get messages uh, about how to live their lives better, how to engage in productive activities. So this issue of communication, I think the way I understood it still now, is like it facilitates to send one piece of information to as many people as possible with one check, with one check. And that will be something we could try. We could first possibly try the level of the diocese centrally, and then parishes we can grow with them as they come to experience it. So that if the damage is done, we know the port from where we can address it. <laughs> yes, that's what I would recommend, but it seems to be a good thing that can facilitate us. We have basically been using the catechist to take information to, to the youth. We either give oral communication or we give a letter which then the catechist reads on Sunday. And if it is an oral communication, that catechist also gives on that Sunday. Uh, in the parish there, there can be challenges of uh, network. We have very serious problem with the connectivity, especially even MTN itself. Airtel does a bit better in Akanyo, but MTN still has some hiccups. So that maybe will need to be addressed. There is the challenge of power where people have to charge their phone. Sometimes people come to the parish, Father, can we charge our phone, see and so on and so forth. So because we still don't have the, the national grid there, people use simple solar, simple torches here and there to make ends meet. And so um, we believe if these are addressed um, with the people who are concerned, maybe uh, greater and wider use will, will, will come into force. And so apart from the faith message that will be delivered on Sundays and on any other occasion, we believe that this channel will also help us to intensify on the fact that love for agriculture, not just crop cultivation, but also animal husbandry will increase and possibly help to uh, fill the food basket of the diocese. But this system can help us to direct the youth, especially to help them find a life and a future because and how they can use the, the media, the technology system properly for their own good and for, their, for a better future. I, see. I think the youth will benefit much from the, the system. Uh, there may be the issue of laziness, idleness, and once we help them to focus and use the technology to do something creative, beneficial, productive, I think that will be a big boost for our many youth.